Hello Taurus, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what is coming towards you in love. I should say who or what is coming towards you. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Taurus watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. Let's jump right in. For Taurus angel skies who or what can they expect in love we have breathe number 29 um let me look at the keywords for this one i'm pretty sure it's about kind of patience and but yeah patience waiting going slowly meditation trust so this is you kind of trusting in spirit taking it easy being patient waiting for what is meant for you Okay. What else for Taurus? What else do they need to know regarding love? What can Taurus expect in love? What can Taurus expect in love? What can Taurus expect? in love wow. okay ace of pentacles i was gonna i was gonna cut the deck but i guess i'll just pick the cards out or what can taurus expect in love the hierophant there you are taurus your own energy there the ace of pentacles with the hierophant is beautiful energy this is like a new opportunity uh strength leo energy there it's a new opportunity for um, that might lead to commitment, that might lead to something stable. It could also be that someone is proposing marriage. Um, I'm also getting with the Ace of Pentacles and the Heart font, whatever opportunity this is, it's going to be um, very traditional, um, very you know value oriented. This is someone that wants to do things right and follow kind of the natural order of things, be very traditional and conservative in their approach. Bottom of the deck is the Five of Wands, though. So this is conflicts, um, arguments, drama. Maybe there's an opportunity coming towards you here in the midst of all of this conflict, drama, or um, issues that are happening around you here. Let's see, what else do we need to know for Taurus? What is coming their way in love? This is from my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. What is coming towards Taurus? Standing firm. This is very similar to strength. Defense, resistance, courage. You are standing firm against any challenge. Okay, so nothing's getting in the way here for you. What else? What else do we need to know? Past life, you have had a connection with this person in the past and love letters. So someone from the past here or a past life connection you could be talking to, they might be sending a message here with love letter. Bottom of the deck, we have true love. The connection between you is genuine and true. Interesting. Well, that's good, right? I mean, might be somebody that you still have feelings for or someone that still has feelings for you. Um, if this is a past life connection, maybe it's like, you know, an instant, um, instant chemistry, this instant spark feeling like this is your person. If this is someone from the past that you're not interested in, I feel like they still are interested in you, Taurus. Let's get some clarity. I just saw the higher font again. Yep, there it is. The higher font with the fool. Okay. Spirit, tell me about this Ace of Pentacles for Taurus. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this energy? The Ace of Pentacles? Death, Scorpio energy. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. What is going on? Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel you have two options here, two different paths you could choose. I feel like you might have two opportunities presented to you. 
I feel like this is happening in divine timing with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, and I think you're going to have to choose which way you go, who you go with. The death card could also be that this is someone you had an ending with, you know? It could also be that this is someone that there was an ending in the past between you, but now they're looking for another opportunity, a new opportunity with you. And you have to decide if you want to go along with that. Tell me about the Hierophant spirit. Why is the Hierophant here? The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, effort, energy, time. Doing things right. Tell me about the Hierophant. Wow, the Seven of Swords. What? You, what is it with these like completely opposite <laughs> energies? Okay, bottom of the deck is the Lovers. Gemini energy. See, this is the thing. I feel like someone that's coming... If this is someone coming back in, Taurus, I think in the past there were issues here with them not putting in time and effort and they're coming to you differently. Um, also with the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords um, together with the Eight of Pentacles could be that someone's being very strategic about what they put their time and effort into, what they, you know, invest in with their time and energy. Let's clarify this Seven of Swords. Tell me about this Seven of Swords for Taurus. Why is the Seven of Swords here, Spirit? Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Emperor, Aries, Energy, and the Fool at the bottom of the deck. So I think that this is somebody that's trying this new approach. Um, they're being very strategic here. Uh, they have a game, uh, an end game? No, a game plan? They have a, a, what's the word? An end goal? I can't, I can't figure that out. <laughs> yeah, basically, they know exactly how they want this to turn out, this person. Um, be very careful because sometimes the Emperor with the Seven of Swords, I get a little bit of controlling energy. So just wanted to put that out there. But I feel like with the Hierophant, the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, those two other, those two messages that I told you are the ones that stick out to me the, the most. The first being that this is someone that maybe in the past they didn't do things right and now they're coming to you exactly how you wanted them to approach you. Um, and then the other the other group of you, I feel like this is someone that's being very strategic in their approach um, because they're, they're, they're taking a leap of faith here. Tell me about strength. Leo energy here. Why is strength here, spirit, for Leo? Why is strength here? Wow, the Five of Swords. Conflicts. I get that. That's reminding me of that Five of Wands. Deception. Uh, the Five of Swords tends to play dirty. The Chariot. Cancer energy moving forward, making a move, headed towards success. Can I get one more for the Strength card, please? The Seven of Wands. That's the standing firm energy. Blocking, resisting, being um, brave, standing up against any challenge. See, I see multiple things here still. I feel like someone's going to be coming forward, making some sort of move towards you with the chariot. And Aquarius had a similar energy. I feel like your choice is going to be to either move forward with this person or move completely away from them. That's kind of what I'm seeing. And I think it's because of the past. Something happened in the past with this individual that you are now kind of not sure of their intentions. Seven of Wands, Five of Swords could be that you're blocking this, standing firm against this. Or it could be that your person is coming forward here with this chariot and being very brave and strong, despite the fact that you have this history. Very confusing, to be honest. Spirit, tell me about the chariot. Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here for Taurus? There's death again, Scorpio energy. Uh, Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel, you know what I'm starting to think? I'm starting to think that there was an, a recent ending that your person is trying to avoid or that your person is like, it's causing them to make a move. You know, it's like there's 
this ending that recently happened or is looming now in the present some sort of change is happening right now and i feel like this person wants to address it um let me know if that's resonating so let's get some insight into this person right because now i'm curious about what exactly it is that they're working on here because they're definitely motivated to do something but before we do that let me ask some insight into this and uh, connection. Spirit, tell me about this connection between Taurus and this other person. What do we need to know about the energies of this connection for Taurus and this person? What do we need to know about the energies of this connection? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Chemistry, there's strong magnetic attraction here. So something, everything that's happening is happening in divine timing. So let's look at your person's energy. Maybe some of you have been waiting for this person to return, to message you with the love letter energy. What do we need to know about this person, Spirit? This person that Taurus is thinking about or connecting with. What do we need to know about this individual spirit? What do we need to know about this individual? Seven of Wands again, Ten of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. Bottom of the deck, the Seven of Swords again. What is happening? What is happening, Taurus? <laughs> this is crazy that we keep getting this, you know, this energy of the Five of Wands, the Five of Swords, the Seven of Swords twice. Now the Ten of Wands is here. So I feel like there is some sort of uh, history that you have with this person. Maybe they want to address this burden, this history. Because the Queen of Wands is a doer. They're very bold. They go after what they want. Seven of Cups just showed up. Options, choices. Spirit, tell me about this Seven of Wands. The High Priestess. Tell me about this Seven of Wands. What do we need to know? Okay, Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? The Fool, yeah, somebody wants like a clean break. Your person, because this is their energy that I'm clearing, um, clearing up here. The Nine of Pentacles, yeah. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Judgment and the Hermit, Virgo energy. There's that Two of Wands energy again at the bottom of the deck. I think this person's going to come forward and propose some sort of like do-over. I think some of you need to just listen to your intuition. I'm going to tell you exactly what I told Aquarius. Listen to your intuition with the Hermit and the High Priestess. Listen to what your inner voice is telling you here when they do come forward with judgment. Because you're going to have to make a choice, uh, Taurus. I was just about to say Aquarius there. Um, I feel like some of you, you don't trust this person. I guess it's going to determine, or it's going to, um, all of this will kind of depend on how your person is approaching you now. Because I'm getting this energy of someone that's like motivated. What do we need to know about this person's energy towards Aquarius? What do we know, Spirit, about this person's energy? I can't let you go. Yeah, I feel like this person, there is a chance for you to walk away from them. Maybe you walked away from them recently. Bottom of the deck, I wish I could be with you. If you are dealing with an Aquarius, Check out the Aquarius reading. Very similar energies there. What else? What else do we need to know for Taurus? And this person, Spirit. What else do we need to know about this connection between Taurus and this person? And with the Nine of Pentacles, yeah, this person's hoping for like a lucky break here with sudden wealth. This is all about like unexpected wins, bonuses, um, like hitting a jackpot. 
Yeah, there's occupation at the bottom of the deck. Your person's very focused on this. Um, let me get a hidden truth oracle as well. Can we get a hidden truth oracle, please, spirit? What do we need to know about this individual? What do we need to know about this person that Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with? I feel like a lot of you, Taurus, you need to really just listen to what your gut is telling you. Some of you, I feel like, are going to be happy to hear from this person, and others of you, um, maybe you're just not open to this. I want to tell you how I feel. We will be together again. Um, yeah, that's that's what they want. They want to be together with you again. 